गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम प्रज्ञा गर्डे आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज बुरखोल जेरिया सुलोमालियाई ओके येस बिफोर गेटिंग इन टू द टॉपिक हेयर इज ए क्विक व्यू ऑफ वट वी आर गोइंग टू सी फर्दर अबाउट बैक्टीरिया लाइक सिनोनिम्स साइंटिफिक क्लासिफिकेशन हिस्ट्री एंड मोफोलॉजी नेक्स्ट इज पैथोफिजियोलॉजी विच इंक्लूड्स मोड्स ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन एंड हाउ इट अफेक्ट्स ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी एंड मेडिकल एनालिसिस दैट इज साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स डायग्नोसिस ट्रीटमेंट एंड प्रिवेंशन सो लेट्स इट ऑन टू द टॉपिक नाउ आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज सिनोनिम्स फॉर बैक्टीरिया साइंटिफिक नेम इज उखोल जरिया सुडोमालिया एंड कॉमन नेम्स आर बैसलिस सुडोमालिया or with most bacillus and for disease scientific name is malaria disease and common names are with most disease which is named after captain alfred witmo who first discovered the disease and pseudoglandis pseudoglandis because malaria disease is similar to the glandis disease at many extent so therefore pseudoglandis okay then scientific classification Of course, Burkholderia pseudomalia is a bacteria belonging to the phylum Proteobacteria class, Beta Proteobacteria order, Burkholderiales family, Burkholderiaceae, genus Burkholderia, and species Burkholderia pseudomalia. About history, Alfred Witmo and his assistant Krishna Swami. first reported meliadesis among beggars and morphine addicts at autopsy in rangoon of manmar in the year 1912 and after about 8 years later the term meliadesis is coined in the year 1921 and it was distinguished from glandes disease the first human case of meliadesis was reported in sri lanka in the year 1927 and during vietnam war from 1967 to 1973 343 american soldiers were reported with meliadesis and after this also found in paris zoo were imported pandas were infected by the disease okay next topic is morphology burkholderia pseudomalia is a gram negative bipolar aerobic motile drought ship bacterium and it is soil dwelling bacterium it infects humans and other animals and it is also capable of infecting plants okay next is pathophysiology let's see modes of transmission so transmission of burkholderia pseudomalia occurs through inhalation ingestion or direct contact with contaminated soil or water inoculation of the organism usually occurs through the skin abrasion Human to human transmission is very rare. Next stage how it affects human physiology. Meliadesis spread from skin through blood to became a chronic form of meliadesis and it affects heart, brain, liver, kidneys, joints and eyes. Then here are some important points. like incubation period which ranges from 0 to 21 days with an average of 9 days onset of infection and symptoms may appear in 2 to 4 weeks okay then endemic areas are south east asia northern australia south asia including india and china and specialty is it is infectious disease then medical analysis like symptoms diagnosis and treatment Okay symptoms firstly cough with normal sputum or no sputum called in non productive cough chest pain during breathing high fever headache muscle soreness so all these are the common symptoms seen in malaria patient okay about diagnosis diagnosis is made with evaluation of blood urine sputum or skin lesion sample blood test is useful in early cases Okay next stage treatments so treatment is given to the patient in different stages like in first stage antibiotics are given by intravenous line for about 10 to 14 days 
and second stage of treatment may last for 8 weeks doxycycline is given every 6 to 8 hours then here are some preventions as this disease have no vaccine so precautions and preventions are must so like avoid contact with contaminated soil wear protective clothing and footwear when participating in activities with possible contact with soil or water use gloves boots wash or shower after exposure to contaminated water or soil so all these are the basic hygiene tips like clean wounds as soon as possible waterproof dressing again use liquid soap to wash your hands again yes look for the water and food you are consuming very important yes so this brings us to the end of our presentation thank you